it comes to you and the Bible. Nobody is preaching the Bible to you. You are the one who opened the Bible. And you are reading. This should be your father speaking to you. I don't know if I'm communicating to you. Don't, don't go elsewhere. Mama, lost it for to me. you for Christ. Let him out. What Christ is? Christ is in the world. Christ is in the world. You don't need to search the heaven. Oh, no, no. Let him out. What are you kiri? Find Christ. Let him out. What Christ? That somebody is telling you that I seven heavens. Tell me, can I climb the first one? Hmm. Then I climbed the Then I descend. I ascend again to the second heaven. What are you doing? And I saw angels. Ah, this angels I saw. They turned their head down. They are using head to war. Magic kingdom. You know, salvation is progressive. Do you know? Like, even if you are saved, we are still an experience of being saved. Do you understand that in the Bible? Now, why, why our lives remain shallow? And our Christian life remain dry. It's because God has actually left us for long. God does not relate with the proud. God rather resists the proud. He will never identify with the proud. Anytime you have entered into the pedestal of pride, God has withdrawn himself. So, if you are going to be delivered from that, Stop your personal estimation of yourself by yourself. And number two, stop listening to people's comments, people's commendation about you. I have known over the years that all men are liars. When you are doing your birthday, and a brother is commenting about you. And Arakone can one sorrow you wouldn't care. He is our brother. Arakone one. He is a man of God. He is a man of God with precise and uh, what is uh, accurate and precision. Luke Ori 18. Luke chapter number 18. SA 9, CSA 14. From verse 9 to verse 14. See at you see you are. Have we opened our Bibles? See at you see Luke or 18. Are we at are we in the book of Luke? Monka no Bibeli Yoruba Yoruya Yo. Reading from Yoruba Yoruya Yo's Bible. O wakpa SA 9. O wakpa we yi fwa wan ti wan go julia ra wan bio lo do do. Ti wan kek gang bo bang we yan yoku. And he spake this parable unto certain which trusted in themselves that they were righteous and despised others. Oni, I want to make you can go kill us in temple. One long bad ra. O kanje farisi. Ikejije agbo wode. Two men went into the temple to pray. The one a farisi and the other a publican. E yi farisi da duro. O da duro. O bere si igba do akpe, o lor, mo dukpe kpe un kodabi a wan yoku, a wan ni wora, a la iso to, a la gbere. In kotile da bi akbo wo de yi. The Pharisee stood and prayed thus with himself, God, I thank thee that I am not as other men ha, extortioners, unjust, adulterers, or even as this publican. Ese twef. E mi jini mungba we lo so se. Munda idame wa agbo bon kan ti mubagba. 
Verse 12, I fast twice in the week. I give tithes of all that I possess. Suba eyi agowo de dro ni okere. Koti le gbe oju soke o ba nlu ara re laya bi ami daro. Oni Olorun sa no mi emi elese. And the publican standing afar off would not lift up so much as his eyes unto heaven, but smote upon his breast, saying, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. Ese ikere la, ti a o ti danudro, mo fe ki e makpe, agbo wo de yi, lo si le rekwe lu o kan e dalare, ju e yi farisi lo, intori, e ni ti o bagbe ara rega la o resile, e ni ti o basi ra resile la o gbega. The last verse, verse 14. I tell you, this man went down to his house justified rather than the other. For everyone that exalted himself shall be abased, and he that humbled himself shall be exalted. May the Lord bless the reading and the hearing of his word. Before I go into the pamphlet you have in your hands, we are learning from the parables that Jesus Christ spake in the New Testament. I need to do a little bit of repetition because of these new faces I'm seeing. So that we can be on the same page. When we looked at the four Gospels, we noticed that Jesus Christ spake 40 parables. And God laid it upon our hearts that we should learn Christ from all his parables. These parables, Ogoji, these 40 parables, we divided them into five groups. When we noticed and carefully checked these parables, Jesus picked some parables to show us God's love. And that was our first lesson. Study one. Amongst these five parables that show us the love of Christ, of God, we have the parable of the lost sheep. Secondly, the parable of the lost coin. The third one, the prodigal son. The fourth one, the trail hidden in the farm. And finally, the hidden pal. If you are if you are interested in those studies, akawanle asi ni wani uri fana ani ili cinema tiwati ating big bugba wwe koyi jade ni uri YouTube. We have them recorded. We have our home media where we normally project all these things on YouTube. Tobati ko trego media bi. If you should write Trego Media, search YouTube. Search for Trego Media on your YouTube. Bu, bu Bible study wa pata All our Bible studies are there. E ni anfa ni la ti gbo ma sa un data o ye ko fi ko toju e mi re ko ma je pe ikun re ataro are nikan lo ma toju. You will have the privilege of listening to all of these studies. Please don't be too mindful of your data because you should take care of your soul even much more than you take care of your stomach. Those of you, if you are using the phone that you cannot uh, solve the web with, please endeavor to buy a good phone. Please go to the YouTube and listen to the word of God over and over. Do you have an understanding of what I'm saying? Now, now we are on the second study, study two. 
awon owe ki Jesu pa to so nipa igbala now we are on the parables that Jesus Christ spake on salvation e ko keji ni ati mu owe akoko now we are on this uh, second study and we are still looking at the first parable awon owe to so nipa igbala won fe to bi merin abi marun and these parables there are about four that speak about salvation the one we want to check on, and we started on it last week, is the parable. Pharisee ati agbuode. This one is about the Pharisee and the publican. So ye. Do you understand that? Eh? Eh, that me You are not. You are not answering me. Let's come to our pamphlet, please. Akori e koi ni irele tomu igbala daju. The title of this study is The Humility That Guarantees Salvation. Ewomi. Look at me here, please. Akori e koi mu feje koni tumansi. I want you to have an understanding of the topic of this study. I know you normally read your Bible. Sugnon bibeli je iwe mema iwe ti o yi o fi aditu okan lo on hane. But the Bible is a holy book that gives unto us, shows unto us the mysteries in the heart of God. Bi o lo on ba sa anu fun yan. If God does not show you mercy, ki e me mema mo yi man le wa lori iwe mema. And the Holy Spirit shows you light in the Bible. E yan le man ka titi do do ku. You may be reading your Bible from now till you die and you will not see any truth in the Bible. Those of you who read the Bible, there was a man who normally leaves this our Africa to Jerusalem in Asia to go and worship God. He will go from Ethiopia to Jerusalem to go and do worship. He kept reading the scriptures, but he never had an understanding. Ethiopia. This man will go from Ethiopia to Jerusalem every year. Every year. And look at it. At that time, there was no hair on plane. He will go in his chariot with horses. It was when he became a chief in the council of Ethiopia that he, started, he had the opportunity of riding in chariot. You know that in those days, when we were young, if your father has a bicycle, he is a rich man. Uh, that's yeah, the one they call rally. Yeah. You know, bicycle is different from bicycle. The one they call rally. rally. If, oh, no, if your father has the bicycle they called rally, that time is a rich man. This man didn't start with chariot. First and foremost, he used to ride a horse hey, from Ethiopia. Know, and you know the stress of riding a horse, riding a horse from Ethiopia to Asia, from Africa to Asia, crossing continents. As he didn't lose his spine, it was the mercy of God. Before, you know, God now promoted him to the point that he could ride in a chariot and with all his endeavors, he never understood what he was going to search for. Now the Holy Spirit told Philip something. After Philip had finished serving God in Samaria, he said, go to the, to the, to the forest. When he go to the wilderness, and the Holy Spirit told him, see that man in that chariot, go and meet him. And he entered into the chariot. And this man is a very good man. Now wait and listen. 
mo fe fi okunrin ara etopia eyin ni pe osan ju ope yin tele jo mo olorun ti mo nwo yi lohun i want to show you this man of ethiopia that is is a, he was a better man than some of you seated here and you are claiming to be children of god you are to ni man to o mo yanri so o le gbe ninu oko re that you have a car if you don't know somebody before will you carry that person in your car you nobody can even dwell with you in the house and you call yourself a child of god you are, you are so terrible as terrible as a lion as you are looking at me as if you are you are a gentleman this our own generation animals are much better than some of our people who call themselves children of god so are you here with me are you listening They have never seen themselves before. A stranger waved him down and he told them, wait for him. And he entered. No, for you to know that this man was a good man. When we were young, our father taught us some lessons. When he you meet somebody on the road and his eyes are so red and you greet him and he doesn't answer you, that person is a wicked man. The person that you meet on the road and you smile to and he refuses to smile, you greet him, he refuses to answer you, that man is a wicked man. This man shows that he is a good man. Philip greeted him, he answered him. He said, can I join you? He said, enter, join me. Philip met him reading the, reading the scriptures. What was he reading? The book of Isaiah. And the Holy Ghost told Philip, ask him what you are reading. Do you understand? And the man said, how can I understand? I'm just reading. I don't understand. I don't have a teacher to explain. Beloved, because of what that man said, God is making us to realize that we need a teacher, even though we have our Bibles. That you have the Holy Spirit, you still need a teacher. Do you have an understanding of what I'm saying? Please be mindful of what I'm saying. The reason I'm explaining so much is maybe you have stayed so long in the church. Maybe you were even born inside the church. Maybe your dedication was done in the church. And yet you are not born of God. Because they think that he's born again and yet he doesn't have Christ. We want to show this to you in the Bible. And God is making us to realize that if you will be born of God and your salvation will be real, there is a humility you must possess. Humility. That guarantees salvation. Now look at me. I must not see any of you saying I'm not proud. Don't let me hear that from you. I must not see any of you saying I'm not proud. Don't let me hear that from you. Most of the time we think it's only rich people that are proud. And my experience in the church has brought me to the understanding that when you, if you are looking for the greatest of the of the proud people, particularly in the churches, the poorest are the most uh, proud. I believe that you are not the, you are not a poor. You are not, you are not poverty stricken and you will not be. Amen. Can you come out of me? I mean, because I don't have money, I'm not proud of When we are talking of pride, you'll be looking at the rich people. Or those who are uh, allied. 
awon ojogbon maybe us and the lecturers mo fe je koye gbogbo yin pe i want all of you to have the understanding that gbogbo wa pata pata every human being ni won bi lo ni gberaga is born proud There's nobody that is free from this particular trouble of pride. I want to Only those who are genuinely born in Christ. I want. They are the only ones that are free from pride. Even they themselves must not be boasting that they are not proud. Look at me. The blood that flows in us all is a blood of pride. There's nothing you have that you are not proud of. If you have money, you'll be proud. If you have spiritual gift, you'll be proud. If you are a pastor, you will be beating your chest. Say, didn't I pray for you? Didn't I pray for you before you became rich? Am I the one speaking and you are still you are answering me like that? Do you want me to pray for you that you will become poor to curse you? Have you forgotten when you came into this church, you came in rubber slippers? That they carried you sick into this church. I am the one that pray for your healing. What is that? Ara, you doing? Now you are healed. But ara, ara, ya, now that you are healed, slippers, you, you came here in, in bedroom slippers. Ah, we are the one that blessed you. Oh, la, for, and now you are rich. Ah, eh, oh, get there, oh, now da, we are finished. We are oh, finished. Oh, now, we now we have blessed you and now you are rich. Don't forget. You to forget your sauce and you become dry. <laughs> 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 Pastors can be proud. Prophets are proud. Teachers are proud. Pride is a terrible trouble. Whatever makes you a little higher than your mates makes you proud. Don't say, ah, me, it is not my matter. I'm not a proud person. If my salvation will be real, if your salvation will be real as oh, genuine, you must be calm, humble. I want to talk about humility. Look, it must be your choice to be humble. If you say you will not become humble, if God should come and humble you, in fact, he will humiliate you. And it will be terrible for you. Do you know a man in the Bible? He used to be the head of the whole world. Nebuchadnezzar, Nebuchadnezzar was his name. A king. Nobody could face him to talk to him. He must not speak and somebody will speak after it. He was the king of the whole world at his time. And it was God that brought him up. And he refused to recognize God. Look at me, look at me. What Nebuchadnezzar did, many of us are doing the same thing. You have done the same thing. Wait. What did he do? He woke up one morning. And he said, look at Babylon that I built by my power. Maybe you said that one is too much for him. Yes, sir. Look at you. I want my These children. That you, you said, these are my children that I gave back to. You told your children. So, the, you stupid girl. Did you bring children from your father's house? What is the difference between you and the Bukadnesa? Or you that made you have built a house. And, and you wake up one morning and say, ah! House. We are not. We are unlike those people that build face cap. Do you know face cap? You know the house they call face cap. Do you know it? One room and they will roof one room. Face cap. One room, one room house, and then they will roof it like a cap like this. Oh, who? Bungalow, That man actually made a foundation for bungalow. But money now refused to come. 
Money refused to come. And he said, Ah, what are we gonna do now? And he now built one room. And he now wanted to roof it and he roofed it like face camp. Wait and listen. When that king said that sent sentence, ah, Nebuchadnezzar, Nebuchadnezzar, oh, my baby, my son, I'm not going to buy it. You have refused to understand that I am the one that reigns in the affairs of men. God said you will become an animal. And the whole king of the whole world, he became an animal. May you not become an animal. So that you will not become an animal. I want you to choose today that I must humble myself. Make it a choice. Are you with me? Can I go forward? Let's come to the book, to the pamphlet. Ifara. The preamble. The proud religious by God will not experience the salvation of God. He is self-confident and does not see the need of salvation. He approaches God based on his personal assessment in view of his righteous works and seeing others as wayward compared to himself. He is never concerned about what God says concerning his state of heart, which is like a beautiful sepulcher. But pride himself on his own estimation about himself and the commendation of men who flatters him. God detests such and he does not save this kind of people. These are the generation of men who are pure in themselves, but their filthiness remains unwashed. They stand aloof among other men in arrogance of being holier than thou. They are superior in themselves when it comes to the matter of religion and so dishonors Christ in his loving kindness to sinners. They resist the lifestyle and teachings of Christ because of their subjective minds not pliable and that makes salvation impossible for them. Let us read the Bible verses in that um, write-up. Before we bring out the important points in there. Come with me to Proverbs chapter number 30. Let me read verse 12. Proverbs chapter number 30. I'll be reading verse 12. I want you to do what I want to do. I want you to do what I want to do. That are pure in their own eyes and yet is not washed from their filthiness. They are pure in their own eyes. For the filthiness of their sins have never been cleansed. Let's come to Isaiah. Let's read from chapter number 65. Isaiah 65. Isaiah 65. Are you there? SA5. I want to read verse 5. Mama kekpe ya golona. Mafara kame. Netori mo jeme mo jolo. Suban bi e fini ru wanri ni omu mi. Bi na tionjo. Lodo juma. We say, stand by thyself. Come not near to me. For I am holier than thou. These are a smoke in my nose. A fire that burneth all the day. 
awon agbera ga niyan those are the proud e farabale nunu ninu ninu gbagbo la nso yo we are talking about religious people who are proud ya go lona fun mi leave the way leave the way for me ma fara kan don't touch me with your filthiness ye mi mo ju olo i'm holier than thou iwe luke ori 19 come to luke chapter number 19 Luke ori 19. Luke 19. Verse 7. Verse 7. Se nka we mo pelu wa. Are you reading the Bible with me? Eh? Huh? Ah? Nigbati awon iyan ri gbogbo won bere si kun si Jesu won ni lodo elese ni o lo wo si. And when they saw it, they all murmured saying that he was gone to be the guest with a man that is a sinner. Se yen ye yin. Do you understand that? Nigbati Sakeu when Sakeos? Ti Jesu ri Sakeu. When God Jesus saw Sakeos? Oni lo ni ni gba lawo si le re. Say today salvation has entered into your house. Jesus re, o lo le re. Went to the house of Sakeos. Era won, awon kan mo loju ara won. Look at this earlier than thous. Won kan Jesu labuk. They started rebooking Jesus. Won ye ye re lo. They started rebooking Jesus. The Lord were less lori e wo si. How can you go to the house of a sinner to eat? Ya lo in rere Johanu. Come to the book of John. In rere Johanu ori 7. The gospel of John chapter 7. Set one who read one who read seven. Are you there? A jack is a forty seven, says a forty nine at verse forty seven to verse forty nine. I want Farisi Babi won't pay a beer in a tidara one ton tanje. Then answer them the Pharisees. Are ye also deceived? Seko sa si eni keni no awon alase at awon Farisi to gba gbo. Af any of the rulers of the Pharisees believed on him? ati fi awon eyan won yi ti ko ma ofin mose gegun but these people who know it not the law are caused <laughs> eh okay look up here awon oni gberaga alakata kiti esin those religious by god proud religious by god won o le ri gba la olo they can never be saved by god gbugbu awon to ba gberaga as many as are proud Jesus ended that parable. Yes, in verse 14. He said the person who humbled himself. He went home justified. Than that one who is proud. So Do you understand? And the reason why Jesus gave that parable was. Come to verse 9. Luke chapter 18. 18. Because when you say something, there must be a reason for saying it. And he spoke this parable unto certain which trusted in themselves that they were righteous and despised others. That was the reason he gave the parable. Please, please, I want your mind to be with me. I have few minutes. I want to, sh we want to shake ourselves. Let us judge ourselves and not permit God to judge us. If I am proud, I cannot be born again. God will never save a proud person. God doesn't do it. There's nothing God cannot do. But he, he does not have the capacity to save a proud person. Why will a proud person not be born again? Because he believes in himself. He believes it's better than others. He sees himself and compares himself that he is better than somebody else. I am not like this one. Now listen to him. Did you see in those scriptures we read? Leave the way for me. I remember when we just got born again. There was a, one of our brothers. We were youths in the church. Brother Michel, we remember the person I'm talking about. When we pray and we want to sleep, you cannot sleep beside him. 
o ti mo ju wa lo is too holy for us ani ta ba ti fara kan you will say when you touch me with your body that the revelation i'm receiving you have caught my revelation so ta ba so why we sleep like this you re mu bo mi lo you will go and sleep afar off ma for what can me don't touch me Oh, labor, lower, go to the old dot, you do do. No, they can't even shake you because when you shake them, you will tamper with their holiness. Mama, you all know. I am holier than thou. What's up? I want to check. He says, I want to check. Myself and yourself, we are not in the same class. He says, Oh, lower, lower. It's not that he's rich in money. It's not that he's educated more than you. Or that he has good understanding or, or brain. Or it's brilliant. But because he's so proud in his art. At times. Wait and listen to me. And our pastors, they are not a help to us. At times, you are just a terrible vagabond. And they make you a deacon in the church. And they make you an elder. There are some elders in our church. They are they are uh, <laughs> bent elders. They are wobbled people. If the uh, pastor does not obey them, they will destroy the church. They I want me. When they are having council meeting in the church. Whenever he makes a suggestion and you put away his suggestion, and it to the person that made another thing contrary to his own suggestion, they become enemies. Don't you know that some elders carry gone to the church? You that are not carrying gun. The day they made you a deacon, from that day you are no longer the mate of anybody in the church. From that day you are no longer the mate of anybody in the church. But clearly, in some of our churches, when they make you a pastor, and they will tell the people in the church, this person is a pastor. This person is just a small boy. Oh, one small boy like this. Oh, it's now your father. Oh, it's now your father. It's no more a small boy, it's a father. And that small boy. That small boy. And the wife is also a small girl. And the woman has become mommy now. All, all other women must be kneeling down when they want to talk to her. And there's a young man who is not yet an elder. He is not yet born again. This small boy has become a pastor. And uh, his Larondo has become a pastor. Everybody is prostrating for you. I will not prostrate for you. <laughs> I will not prostrate. Come, 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 small man, young man, come. So you are too proud. Say what are you saying? Don't I know the day he was born? I was there on the day of, of his of his uh, Is it because you put one collar in his neck? Say, hi. You don't talk to a reverend like that. It's a reverend. Say, who is a reverend? Say this one. What I'm saying is this. Immediately they lift you up a little in the church, you will start being proud. If you become a pastor, you will start being proud. Please come to the understanding that you must choose to be humble. It's a choice. And look at these proud people. Look at this religious they people. For you life, you will they were do. looking at Jesus. They were despising him. They were looking at him. They were, they were just looking for he him. For his his if you are here. And you always look for people. Look out for people's so mistakes. You'll be looking out for their mistakes. So you should, should she have spoken like that? Someone Is she a child of God? And if pastor does anything, 
Are you not a pastor? Should they be behaving like that? When you have this critical mind, there's no way you can be born of God. Can I go on? Eh? I'm asking. I'm asking. Eniyan miran ton wa ti won je elese sugbon ti won ko ni alaafia ninu ipo ese won There is also the generation of men who are sinful but are never at peace with their sinfulness Won ko ni alaafia kan kan ninu okan won tori pe won ko ni agbara lati dekun ese dida They are never at peace in their hearts as a result of their incapacity to resist sin Won ni ipo ngbe ninu okan won fun Olorun sugbon won ko ri ara won there is a longing in their hearts for God, but they never see themselves fit to stand before God who is holy and wholesome. They seem to be doing well, but the waywardness in their lifestyle overshadowed their good works such that there is nothing in them to boast about. They long to be delivered from this terrible lifestyle, but they didn't know how. This made them to seek repose in religion and they are ready to pursue this at all costs. Yet, religion does not help this their inner deformity. This is a fact they themselves cannot deny. They are searching for deliverance continues and the vacuum for God in them remains empty. Nothing can fill the vacuum God ought to fill in the heart of man, no matter the greatness of his wealth and riches. Salvation is meant for such because of their sincerity and simplicity before God. They are quick to be saved and also experience full salvation without much ado for follow-up. Look at me here. In all churches, we always have these two groups. The first group, those who believe that they are very righteous, they see themselves better than every other person. You will see them. I will show you their picture. And the second group, they are those that they sincerely want to serve God. They are struggling. But they know that they are sinful. They know in themselves that they are full of sin. Yet they struggle so much. They are doing good works. Look at me. Some people are. I know a man. He has a little money. And he sees a young lady. And the woman, the mother of that lady is a, is a widow. This lady cannot go to school. Because her mother is very poor. And the father was even so poor before he died. And this lady met this man. When this man noticed that this lady has nobody to help her, he has the mind to help the girl. Pays as coffees. From GSS to SS. Even up to university level. But look at me. Then there was a problem. A problem came in. 
The trouble happened between them. Do you know that when you give a dog food continuously, that dog will love you? When a young man who is already married is paying the school fees of a lady who is already matured, and this man who is being merciful became a boyfriend. So yeah, do you understand? This young man has the mind of doing just good. For the, for the human nature has turned him into a sinner. And in the church, he had already become a deacon. They said, let us pray for the, for the forgiveness of sin. God. Daddy, Jimmy. 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 There's no, there's nothing, there's nothing he can say. How we daddy, oh, mercy, oh, oh, ah, no, 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 Only begging for mercy. That was the way he started praying. Ah, no, 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 Baba, oh, ah, no, 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 asking for mercy. How we daddy, oh, mercy, oh, ah, no. I have nothing to say than to ask for mercy. He can wa. And there's one. And he's begging God. I, I, yes, I did it. I only wanted to help her. I only wanted to forgive me. 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 That is why his uh, salvation became trouble. People like that, their salvation becomes terrible. They can't maintain salvation. Not, not that he is willingly committing sin, but he, he found himself in sin. And when he found himself in sin, there is no way out. And a young man called me recently. Oh, yes, sir. He said, please, sir. Oh, let me in the last bus stop. Oh, man. My last bus stop. Oh, 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 I am not a deliverer. It's only Jesus that delivers. It's only Jesus that sets free. You say, I want a way out. Listen, oh. Those of you who will meet people committing sin in a corner. And we go and be making jest of them somewhere. You don't know how they are begging their God in secret. You don't know that it is a problem. You know that all they need is mercy and help. Look at me, I understand that. Any of you that is making Jest of the beloved of God because of sin. I know you are not a genuine child of God. You are not a child of God at all. God doesn't have a counterfeit child. You are not a child of God at all. You cannot be born of God. And then you will meet somebody in sin oh, and you will be making jests. Oh, you are not a child of God. Ah. 
These people, they have pain in their hearts. Do you know that this man I'm talking about? I now spoke with him. I said, you are free to call me at any time and talk to me. I now put his number in my own account too. I wanted to speak with him on WhatsApp. Immediately I saw his DP. I said, hey. No, no wonder. You have all these uh, ingredients of madness. I called him that this DP is wrong. Remove this one, remove it. By the time he started obeying, after like a month, he called me. He said, I am free now. Sibe Agbara Olorun Bani Agbara Olorun Bani Ah O Bani La Jesus ye okan ni la na Jesus is the same yesterday Okan ni la la na He saved yesterday Okan na ni lo is the same today Yo gba la na lo ni He saved today again Anyone of you is not yet born of God. Look at me. There is a vacuum in the heart of every human being. Everybody wants to fill this vacuum. All of us love money. If I don't love money, raise your hand. Let me see. And like that, you like you. Say, you love money. You like you. Like like I don't love money. Not like you. Don't you love money? When they give you money, don't you smile? Somebody just dash you money like this. Won't you smile? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Most of the time we think when we get money that we will have peace of mind. You will be walking to an edge. Hello, me. Some people, even as a young man, they became very rich. Mercy, mercy brought you riches when you were still young. And you have it in your mind. By the time I'm 50 years old, I will no longer be working. I will just retire. And money will be coming. And he has worked for it. But when they see that kind of money, something, there's something we call lack of contentment. They say money never makes a rich man content. Even you that you don't have money yet. You are going to tell Are you content? If God gives you 10,000, you will not be able to pay 1,000 you Are you content? There is something in the, in the mind of every human being. There's a gap. Money cannot feel it. Riches cannot feel it. Even teachings cannot feel it. Being famous cannot feel it. Only one person that can feel that particular gap is God. And God cannot feel your heart when you are not saved. Did you follow me to that point? Stand there. It is that same vacuum that made that man from Ethiopia to feel lost in Jerusalem. him to go all the way to Jerusalem to go and worship. Do you know that some people go to Mecca every year? Every year. Some people go to Jerusalem every year. Ah, they are, they are looking for God. Oh, I'm at Jerusalem. Oh, Jibo, I'm at Jericho. What to me, Jordan? They have not brought Jerusalem, I'm Jericho water and Jordan water for you. Eh? Eh? I want pastor to come to my to tell you, look. Oh, no, no, no. This oil. Hello, you need to go. Will you not? May you not be foolish? I want bomb all of my cars. We have some foolish children. Oh, bomb all of my cars. Foolish children. 
this is water from Jordan. God said I should call you. I should use it to pray for you. So for a long way, a long way, again, go. Tell God, I will, may I not be foolish? You all went all the way to Jerusalem? And all you went to bring is water from Jordan. I want to continue. Mustard seed. This is, mustard, mustard, this is mustard seed. This is mustard seed. God said we should use it to pray for you. Jaku, jaku. Nonsense. This man all the way from Ethiopia was looking for God. But the way by which he was looking for God, that is not the way God shows himself to people. Religion does not bring deliverance to anyone. Do you understand? Let's go forward. This study is in two parts, two subheadings. The first, the first subheading is the foolishness of a proud heart before God in that salvation. Come to verse 11 and 12. Let me read it from here. Let me show you the foolishness of a proud heart. Please, when I show you this, the Holy Ghost will show light into your heart. If you see yourself in this, please, when I get to the point of prayer, don't deceive yourself. Verse 11 and 12. Then we will look at it and then pray. The Pharisees stood and prayed thus. Look at me. Let's assume that this is the church. And I am the Pharisee. And I want to show you how he prayed. Come. This is the publican. You're not looking like Agbo Wode now. Say, my one Agbo Wode. Do you know the publicans? The tax collectors? I want immigration officer. They are, they are like uh, immigration officers of our days. You know, they used to have pot belly. Oh, yeah, my boy. Oh, yeah, my boy. Eh, 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 I want to buy new ruru. He has collected different sorts of bribes. Now he has pot belly. Oh guy, Joe, hey Joe. Say, oh my, come on, 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 He knows that what he's doing is not good. That he has a bad job. I am the leader of the religious people. When I am going in the street, hey, Reverend. Ah, well done. God will increase your strength. And I will say, God bless you. May you receive mercy. Don't be unfortunate. I say, pray for us. Pray for us. Take this one. And they will give me money. No. It will be well with you. You will not be unfortunate. And you will have joy. Now the two of them get to the church. And this man stands in a corner. 
You go down, ah, you also want big pepper. And let's say you want big pepper. Ah. <laughs> and Sina does not stay near the altar. Oh, yeah, wole, wole. And then you is kneeling down. I'm a quick is in tank with wole. Wole is that is ah. what man. That is how to Sorry, worship. Eddie, 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 they care. Oh, wole. Because he knows that he's a sinful man. Emma, 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 Emma. And now look, look at the drama. I am the Pharisee. Weeping and pleading. Weeping and pleading with God. The Pharisee is now mocking him, despising him, despising him. Sinner. Look at the sinner. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I do. And now stand aloof. Oh, do look at it. He now stands away, far away from the from the from the public. Emma Farabale. Igbera gaeda inuokalo wa. Look, pride resides in the heart. Awa ma farana nini wati se. And it manifests in actions and words. Kiwase akoko ni wadju eni. And not before, not before man. Ni wadju olo. Most of the time before God. Egbo orolo. Listen to the word of God. Odu o takete. Itakete re so pe emi ati akisi awa. The Pharisees stood away from him, showing that I am not in your set. Iduro re, iduro pe mo dape. The way the Pharisees stood is like I am complete. I am okay. We are the eyeballs of God. You will not allow anything to suffer me. You will not allow the enemies to touch me. Yes, you look. Ah, God is my own supporter. I am a covenant child. God belongs to me. God belongs to me. I am beloved of God. The eyeballs of the Almighty. Oduro, he stood. Egbo, listen. Oh, And he now prayed. Oh no, God, I thank you. Look at his thanksgiving. He didn't say, God, I thank you because you are the Lord. He didn't say, thank you because you are the Lord of Lords. Thank you because you are the Lord of Lords. Thank you because you are the Almighty. You are the one that lives forever. You are the one that is forever the same. He didn't pray like that. A proud person does not pray like that. He said, I thank you. I am not like the other man. When he finished singing, that song. We that were supposed to be thanking God, we know ourselves. Eh, is the prayer is the song of the crowd. We are supposed to be thanking God, we know ourselves. Every prayer we receive grace. We receive grace. Every day we receive mercy from God. We are never put to shame, and we will never be put to shame. <laughs> Tori minaja, lo o baba o ni posi, ni mokola. Okpere, okpara eni. Thanksgiving is full of self. I will do it. Look at his Thanksgiving. Yeah, yeah. Check your life. Check your life, brother. I am not like other men. So let's thank God, people. Brethren, let's thank God. We are not sick. I went to UCH. I saw them. All of them. All of them.
Mama jo ba wa o e mo je adupe lowo lo Let's thank God ara wa ma lo le pe pe We are healthy I'm a size We are not sick He bi o ma pa wa We are not hungry Allah ma ngbo ti wa God is hearing our prayers we are not just walking in vain. God is blessing us. Yafu yafu. Is that the way you used to thank God? Oh, that be I want you. You are unlike those people in UCH. Our spirit is always having work to do. We always have fish to eat. <laughs> I will, I will read the terrible, terrible, terrible songs of people who are proud. Do you think you need to repent this evening? Let's look at the Bible. No, that be I want you. I am not on. I'm unlike other men. I want ni wara. Extortioners. I want la isoto. Unjust. I want la bere. Adulterer. Look at this proud man. He is only wara. He is not an extortioner. But he has no mercy. He is yes. That one is not a sin, Abi. Ara lere. That man, that is neighbor that has no food to eat. That is neighbor that they are always coming to ask him for the money. He's he, that he is using to, to see yeah, because his neighbor is always being indebted to people. So he is singing. Because he is always cooking fish. And there is a man nearby who doesn't have fish to eat. Wait, listen to me. Yo. All of us have a Lazarus living with us nearby. You also have a Lazarus. Do you know the story of the Lazarus and the rich man? You also have a Lazarus nearby at your gate. He will not come and beg. Oh, instead of being merciful, you are using him to take to give praise to God. Oh, sir, no You will never you be merciful. You are using this life to go and give praise to God. Instead of you to help him. Some people will say, hey, John, hey, John. Please, please, please. They have done it for me before. Pastor, that, that pastor I used to hold never be in this house. That, that makes the Nepal people to come and cut our life. You like it rather than I don't like this nonsense, this pastor, this yaku, nonsense. Yaku. Ah, ah, what is this rubbish? Ah, ah, we go ah, I want to enjoy fun. Everybody have light now. And we will not have light because of this pastor. Enjoy, enjoy. Please, please, please. I think we have four meters in this four flats. Let everybody go to the to the pole and pick his own light. And he was the first to go and pick his own light. The second flat went to pick his own from the, the third one went to pick his own. I am the pastor that God has not answered his prayer. And they now put me in the dark. And I was in the dark for six months because I could not pay for light. I didn't say they have sinned, though. God used it to teach me, to train me. So that, so that we will know how to be merciful to others. You, you have not suffered the same as Who is your teacher? God used them for me to train me. But let me help you. When you see your, your another person, your neighbor, that somebody is coming to ask for the money is owing, and then you, you are using that person, you are mocking that person, you are mocking another person. At times, we are as proud as you are like this. We will now call some people in the church. Well, let us come and intercede. Yo. It is intercession we want to do. Oh. Let us intercede for brother Lagbaga. Let us intercede. You are not interceding, you are only gossiping. And you are not mocking that person. Mockery intercession. Emi Odabi. 
I am not like this, this extortioner is calling that man who is praying extortioner also used to do the same. You don't know that you yourself, you are an extortioner. When your husband gave you money to go and cook soup and he says, I want uh, chicken. And you now cook chicken. And all those places that have I meat, the, the upper I part, saraki, saraki, the upper part of, the, of, of, the, of the thigh and the, and the breast of the Maybe chicken, chicken where the one. meat is, it is Whoa, where you are cooking. You have not entered into the soup. Eh, no, re, ni want you say, Your mouth is moving Whoa. through. As you are boiling, you are Whoa. tasting. As you are frying, Whoa. you are tasting. You have tested you all the like meat. And, and, when the, and when the person who gave you money came, and, yes, husband, is only and you are not an extortioner. In the kitchen. In the kitchen. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. You, are, you have eaten three, three pieces. Three, three big parts of the, of the, of the, of the chicken has, has gone. And, yes, is only one. and you are not a greedy person. And you are a very holy. Very holy. Very holy. Very holy. Very holy. You are not like those sisters that wear trousers. You are not the ones. You are not. You are not like they who wear earring. You, you tie your scarf like a widow. Oh God, glory be to God for you. Amalore. We know it. But check your heart. I want All those your secrets. Me or you? I am not like the. Since, since, the day, day, since the day I entered my husband's house, no other man has slept with me. Oh, is Alagbere? You are not. Sugma had genio, but you are wish. Bako, but it's a fair no. When your husband does not do your wish, then and when he goes out, he will be in trouble. His tire will burst. You will fight with him with everything you have. You are not uh, an adulterer, but you are a wish. You will turn yourself, you will be, you will be naked, and you will be putting your hand on your breast and on your private part to curse your husband. And when you come to church, you'll be singing, singing like an angel. Singing like an angel. Brother, shall we sing in the spirit? In the yeah, spirit. Shall we sing in the spirit? Yeah, we are the chorus. Shall we sing in the spirit? Yeah, we are the chorus. Shall we sing in the spirit? Is everybody be in the spirit? Oh, yeah, be in the spirit. We are all in the flesh. We are all in the flesh. We are all in the flesh. I am unlike, I'm not like this I am not like this publican. This one. I am not like this publican. I am not like this publican. And when he finished it, he said, Only God, my God, where is your face? I fast. I fast twice in a week. <laughs> God of heaven, ancient of days, as you look at me, I have never heard you that time. When they give me even a way do, Mama and you pray the sight of a way do. Ancient of days, if you don't understand the way I'm paying it, I will count it, I will count the way do. If it's 20, I will remove two. It is your own. Oh, Jesus. 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 Oh, Yeah, yeah. Check your life, brethren. Yeah, yeah. Check your life. Say, bear. Is Lori. that how you are? Go, 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 Maybe you are not doing all these things we have mentioned. What to ba say come back? But if you are doing one, my lolly lie, need that lie. Don't go home without repenting. Oh, yeah, you did it. 
Brother Aouye, please stand up. Thank you for doing the work of God. God will complete your work. Did you follow me to this point? This is foolishness. That is the foolishness of a proud heart before God. If he pays his tithe and God does not bless him, he will say, God, come and sit down. 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 What is it? What is, what is your problem? Why did I pray and you didn't answer me? <laughs> I, I heard about a girl. She prayed. A young man. Say God. Say God. Say God. Say God. They say you used to answer prayer. I need a bicycle. You must give me. Oh. This week, I must get a bicycle. And that week came. And bicycle didn't come. You say God. But you say if we ask, you will do it. You have to do. You will do it for us. Why didn't you give me the bicycle I asked? Oh, you? Okay, I give you another chance. <laughs> One minute, give me a give me the bicycle because I need it a lot. You are laughing. And Keke didn't buy school, didn't come. And he's a member of the Catholic Church. And he's a, 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 the parents have this statue of Mary in the house. I now carry the statue. And he went to throw it into the water. And he came back. Is that Jesus? Because I asked for Keke to buy school. And you didn't give me my school. Your mother in my house. I've got to throw her away. Your mother in our house. I've got to try to deliver. <laughs> He's fighting with Jesus. <laughs> I've thrown your mother into the water. <laughs> if you need your mother, <laughs> in the water. What I did from you didn't give me. That is how the life of so many of us are. When you ask something from God and it doesn't give you, you started abusing God. You begin to abuse God. Please stand up and let us pray. Please close your eyes. We have prayed that we will not go back home the way we came. Pharisee, eh? That Pharisee. And I was showing you his picture. He came, he came and he went back the same way he came. How many of you have seen yourself as a proud person? Now what? Okay. Please raise your right hand up unto God. God, please be merciful unto me. Please, if you have seen yourself in any way that you have seen yourself as being proud before God. This man was speaking before God. Now, it's okay. Please raise that your hand. Raise it to God and say, God, please be merciful unto me. Lord, I need your mercy. Lord, God of heaven, I need your mercy. I need your mercy. Don't allow the door of mercy to lock upon me. Lord, I need your mercy. Lord, God of heaven, I need mercy from you. Lord, please be merciful unto me. Lord, please be merciful unto me. Lord, please be merciful unto me. Say, God, please show me mercy. Forgive me for being proud. 
yes eyi please forgive me ki ma foju tirin awon elomiran that i will be belittling and despising other people ki ma ka awon mi won labuko i will be despising them and rebuking them olorun dariji lord forgive me eje ka bere fun eje jesus christ let's ask for the blood of jesus eje jesus christ we me nu blood of jesus please cleanse me welcome me nu cleanse my heart so me do me mo make me holy so me do me mo make me holy so me do me mo wash me and cleanse me e so fun olu agba mi lai mi ola tell god save me and i shall be saved olu agba mi lai mi ola save me and i will be saved no wo igba la re si stretch your hand of of mercy upon my life gba mi la oluwa save me o lord mo fe ki igba la mi o je igba la to daju i want my salvation to be genuine se be fun mi oba ogo do this for me o lord jesus christ oluwa wa in jesus name we have prayed olorun israel ogo ni foru ko god of israel glory be to your name any kind of babu ese re mole oro re ni ke ko ni sere re it is seen the bible says will not prosper so when to ba je wo re but to say that confess it si ko si le and forsake it yo ri anugba will be shown mercy a je wo ni wa jo re lo confess before you today as if you pray and we make up our minds ah o ni rin ni gberaga mo be walking in pride again oluwa lord da ri ese yi ji wa give this sin for give us e je jesus pa ese wa re blood of jesus cleanse so wa de me mo make us holy da wa la re justify us go be that ko ja aye wa ni waju re that we have passed our boundaries before you do tembelu elomira that is past other people that is sorry baje awon elomira that spoken hills of others baba dariji god please forgive us sa no fun wa o go ni foruko glory be to your holy name